So, um, hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this is going to be a quick one because I've been a bit busy today, so I thought I might as well just get this out as, you know, something for the day. Um, so, um, Captain Marvel, lead, is it possible for her to really lead the Avengers? And, no, not really. And this isn't because I don't like the character. I don't, but this is this has nothing to do with my own personal feelings or anything. Captain Marvel cannot really lead the Avengers, mainly because there's too big of a power gap here. Um, no matter how much I dislike Captain Marvel as a character, she is quite strong. I mean, that Thanos' ship that was raining uh, bullet hell down upon everybody in, at the end of Infinity War, nobody else, you know, could have taken her out, really, so... It just shows that she is quite a bit powerful. She's not more powerful than, let's say, two Infinity Stones. Um, or, uh, you know, like two plus Infinity Stones, because she gets her power... If you didn't know, she gets her power... She basically got her power from one Infinity Stone, just like... Uh, Scarlet Witch. Actually, this cat. Now that I think about it, this character is very recycled because it's basically her, her character is basically Scarlet Witch with Tony Stark. But if you took everything that was redeemable and likable about those two characters away and Tony Stark's money, that's basically Scar that's basically Captain Marvel, to female Tony Stark. Um. With no money, no likability, that got her powers from an Infinity Stone. Anyway, um, so you can't. There's no possible way for her to be more powerful than, I'd say, at least two Infinity Stones. You would need at least two Infinity Stones to take down Captain Marvel. Probably just one, but it depend. You'd be having it's really. You can't really test that, but uh, it definitely. Two. Definitely two would do the trick. Don't know about one. Um, but the problem here is, like I was saying, the power gap's too big. Yes, she could. They could put on an Avengers team with Spider Man, Scarlet Witch, and who's left? Uh, uh. There's not really anybody left that I can think that they would. They wouldn't put Doctor Strange on the Avengers because Doctor Strange, even in the comic book so far, I know has never been on the Avengers because he sort of does his own thing. Um, so, yeah, there's not... Uh, the new Captain America. Don't know if Bucky would. Bucky... Uh, I think he's still out. Isn't he still an outlaw or something? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, there's not many that there's not really that many characters that are, that are left alive that could be on the Avengers team. Um, and then, say you then so you know you have like Captain Marvel with Spider Man and Scarlet Witch and whoever. Who are they going to fight? Because if it's powerful enough for to be a threat to Captain Marvel, then there's no way Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch could stand up to it. Like, um, they would just be destroyed immediately. They'd stand absolutely no chance. Where if you tone the power down enough so that Spider-Man and Scarlet Witch stood a chance at all, then uh, Captain Marvel would... You have the opposite problem where Captain Marvel would just destroy the villains. So there's no way Captain Marvel could be the leader of the Avengers. But something she could be um, is the leader of her own team entirely. Um, because what they could do is introduce something like the Galactic Avengers or something like that. I've, that's probably that probably exists in comics. I'm I'm not um, 
the most. Uh, I don't know the, uh, a ton about comics, but I d I've like uh, seen a few videos on like comics, like uh, comic historian kind of stuff, like going through and reading them. And uh, I know a bit. And you know, the Gala so basically, a Galactic Avengers would be they introduce new characters um, that have powers beyond anything any of the Avengers could have. Uh, you know, achieved, they, you know, they'd be, apart from maybe four, like, they'd be, mm, I'd say four would probably ever stand a good chance against Captain Marvel, so I'd say they'd probably be around the level of four, more or less, um, and uh, then uh, that would, uh, and then if you were introduced, like, super strong uh, heroes from the comic books, then we could get into some of the world destroyers. Also, um, I can't wait for Fantastic Four to come back, and then uh, in the sequel, there'll be Galactus. I wonder if Galactus is going to be like a Thanos level villain, because he definitely has the presence to be a Thanos level villain. But um, I'd say that's a character that really the Fantastic Four should mainly deal with, because in the comic books, um, Galactus won't even acknowledge most mortals. Um, there are very few mortals he will even acknowledge, and that Reed Richards is one of those mortals. Um, maybe they could uh, start introducing the other pantheons, because if you didn't know, um, in the comic books, in the Marvel comic books, basically all of the religions are true at one time. So, like, you have the Egyptian gods, the Norse gods, that's where, like, you know, four and all that comes from. And, you know, you have all the different gods from all around the world. You have the Greek gods, um, and you could start introducing some of them. So, like, have... Or oh, introduce Hercules, have him be stronger than... Have, have him be a mix between four and the Hulk. Have him be stronger, physically stronger than Thor, but not as strong as Hulk, but not as smart as Thor, but not as dumb as Hulk. Um, and give him a unique personality, and that could basically work, because in the comic books, Hercules wasn't the smartest person, let's just say. Um, he did inevitably cause the death of, an, of the gods. Like, 90% of the gods. Anyway, so I think, like, th that's something they could do, like, just in just in just make it to the era of the gods kind of thing. Just, like, make the whole galactic Avengers deal with, like, gods and higher level, how higher power beings, like, um... Or maybe even introduce, like, the Living Tribunal and uh, the Eternity and, you know, those kind of heavy... Really heavy hitters. Mind you, I think the Living Tribunal might be a more, more of a thing for Doctor Strange. Because he has, in the comic books, gone to the Living Tribunal. He's like, hey, can you help us here? He's like, no. The, the, everything's alright from, from what I've seen. What about you, uh, Eternity? Was it Eternity or was it... It's basically the living embodiment of the universe. Like, introduce those kind of things. Make it... Uh, and... Uh, and then, that, that's why I think the Galactic Avengers could be. They could be, like, something... Mostly fan service -y kind of stuff. Like, make it... Or just, like, giant. Just up the scope massively for the Galactic Avengers. But still have the regular Avengers on Earth. And keep them to, like, smaller stories. And, you know, like, um... Have Spider-Man be the leader of the Avengers. And, uh, you know, Scarlet Witch. And just bring in some new characters, have them built up, maybe, and then we, and then introduce the X-Men into it, like, um, somehow, and, uh, uh, maybe have the Avengers and the Galactic Avengers, you know, join forces to fight Galactus, or, um, oh, what was that character, or maybe, um, what's his name, like, Godslayer, was his name? What was that his name? That the God Slayer character, where basically he had a really shitty life, and then when in his tribe and and his parents like either I think they died before he was you know when he was young, like went into a tribe. He had a wife. He, she was pregnant. She died. The preacher said something about gods having a plan for them. 
He uh, said there's, if there were gods, they abandoned us long ago. He got kicked out of the tribe. Then, like, a, a Asgardian and something else was fighting, and then he took their weapons, killed them, and started killing all of the gods. And they even beat um, Thor when he was young. And where and when he got older, it took the power of um, he cooked, he kicked the asses of young Thor, normal Thor, and old Thor at the same time. And then we got like Thor wielding two Mjolnirs. Um, that was cool. You know, characters like that. Um, but, you know, as it is right now, she's just too powerful for anything that, she, you know, you could really put up against the rest of the Avengers, anyone who would be in a normal Avengers team. Anyway, um, I think I've ranted long enough about that. I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a good evening. Bye-bye.